everything in a state of mind. What is you on a piece of paper? What is it that is not you, but gives an impression about you? What is it that gives a prospective employer an idea as to what are you? Hello, welcome to Perceptions Film Elm Soft Skills Training in association with Tapos Training Elm Film Production. I'm Tapos. Today, we're going to talk about resume writing, resume, curriculum vitae, biodata. People may call it by different names. We would call it resume. Following are a few points which can be taken into consideration while writing a resume. Career objective. A simple one is better. However, if you want to be creative, just keep in mind the job you're applying for. Relevance. Beating around the bush is a phrase that may be used for nagging wives or nowadays nagging husbands. Couples enjoy and feel the experience of fighting and arguing without any result. But not the employers, as they may have their own spouse or children for that. More importantly, employers don't have time. So in short, stick to the point or to the point is the mantra. Convincing. You're selling yourself, so make sure you're convincing enough. Easy to understand. Unprofessional words may hamper your resume. Beautiful words or art is good, but not always. Your resume may get rejected for over smart language or look. Cities. If you have traveled more, then you will be preferred more, as you will have the exposure to different people, culture, language, psych, food, etc. Up to date. Write a new resume. Don't use the old ones, as it may lack the present details, which may be more important for the job you're applying for. And there is a possibility that the format may have also changed with time. Profile. This is more formatted and more focused on experience than personal details. Spell checker. It may be difficult to correct everything just by looking. To use a spell checker is not only wise, but it also saves time. And more importantly, you don't need to put pressure on your precious minds. Cover letter. It is good to use a cover letter. It is more of a personal letter, which also shows your ability to put forward your message in your words. It gives the employer an insight as to why you're applying for the job. It may include important points relevant to the job to support your resume. Experience. Any experience is good, unless they are not harmful for the company. You can also include unpaid work like social service or volunteering. Just make sure you don't highlight if not relevant. You can include sports, dance, drama, etc. This may show you as an individual who can be professional and at the same time entertaining. Proofread. Always proofread. I used to write when I was a kid. Every time I look at them, I cherish the times, memories, and also notice a lot of mistakes. 
and I feel that I can improve. So whatever you write, it may be good, but you always have the opportunity to edit and improve. Looks. Looks are very important. I'm not talking about your looks. We will have another tutorial for that very soon. As of now, we are focusing on you. Clutter. Who likes mess? Well, there may be a few, but not the employers. If they want mess, they wouldn't want to see yours, but their children's. Make sure your resume looks neat. Font. Nowadays, a lot of people are experimenting with fonts. No harm, yet make sure it looks professional. Times New Roman or Arial will do just fine. Size of the sheet. Make sure that it's good quality paper, white or close to white. Composition, that's my favorite. The photographs look better when the composition is good. Similarly, resume for different jobs have different composition. Blanks. If you talk about beauty, at times, blanks are more important than written words. Leave blank lines or spaces accordingly. Acronyms. Use the full form. No jargon. Some words are good in a group or a company, but not understood by all. So avoid using technical words or words that only a few may understand. As the person who is finalizing your resume may be from a different background, community, country or field. Long sentences. Avoid as much as possible. Make it short and crisp. We're not sitting in a theater. Lying. You can get the job fast, but you may end up in prison faster. These days, background checks are a must, even by the government. Weakness. Everyone has, but you don't need to show. Anyone can change with the right guidance in the right environment. Too much graphics. We're not in a painting competition where we need to make people understand through our art. A few good words properly arranged will do wonders. Avoid underlining, shadows, graphics, emoticons, etc. Copy-paste. If you copy-paste, it may have a lot of irrelevant stuff attached to it that may not surface at that time, but when you send. Too much personal information. You're not sending a love proposal to your wife or spouse who wants to know everything about you. If you let the employer know more about you, you may end up giving unnecessary and unprofessional information. Well, that's all for now. For more information, please visit our website www.perceptionsfilms.com or write to us at perceptionsfilms at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos. On a personal note, in case of a love proposal also, be professional because this information will be used against you your whole life or whatever is left. This was the push.